Monsieur le Président de la République. One recent day, months after French President Nicolas Sarkozy was elected, several opposition news editors vowed to go 24 hours without mentioning his name. They found it impossible. And such a thing would have been especially unthinkable this past weekend. There he was in Jordan, very publicly on tour again with top model slash singer slash girlfriend Carla Bruni. And what's more, there was new life being pumped into old rumors. A Sunday paper said it was true what Bruni's Italian mother reportedly said before Christmas. The couple are going to get married. The paper says the date is in early February. The president's office has not commented. But out of the streets, the reaction seemed at first to follow closely the line of Rhett Butler to Scarlett O'Hara. I don't care. I, I, I don't give a damn. You don't give a damn? <laughs> I don't want to know if he get married to Carla Bruni or Angela Merkel. Or I don't want to know. But there are signs people are beginning to care more about the jet-setting image of their president than they initially let on. When you go out in a yacht, in a private jet, and the average French, French has trouble to earn a good living, it's not really, not really good. Also not good for Sarkozy were stories in the weekend press which show his popularity diving in the public opinion polls. And some connect that with his very public bachelorhood. We do believe that uh, Nicolas Sarkozy cares much more about uh, uh, Calabrini's and uh, France, yeah, his business. Do you think that? Yes, yes, I do think that. Yeah, yes, a few months after uh, he divorced, he will be married with Calabrini. has a very bad reputation in France. No matter what the popular analysis, political specialists say a presidential marriage would at least clarify things. The pictures of the president and his companion romancing along the Nile, not only raised eyebrows in France, but among devout conservatives in Egypt. 